Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. Graduates in STEM subjects that science, technology, engineering and maths increasingly also need to develop creativity in order to be truly innovative. We take a look at how studying the arts can help. Years of political turmoil in the enclave of Somaliland in the Horn of Africa means poverty is widespread. Could promoting STEM subjects help improve the situation? Could scholarships to foreign universities help? Let's find out. The curriculum at the Abarso School in Somaliland is a hybrid of the local and American systems. It's designed so that the students acquire knowledge that can be used in the academic world beyond the region. The main subjects are maths, English and logic, along with Arabic and Islamic studies. We have students that are in public speaking competitions against American kids that have spoken English their whole lives and they're winning. Um, we have students in AP Calculus and AP Chemistry and they're getting fives and fours on their exams and so uh, I think that they've really impressed the schools and they've definitely impressed us. I think one of the biggest advantages for the students is that they get to come here and they have um, an English-only environment in their classes. Abarso is the only school in the region that offers STEM subjects, which are seen as vital to development in a deeply impoverished area. This year, for the first time, an Abarso student has got into the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The school aims to send more than half of its graduates to elite higher education centers around the world. Our first student, Mubarak, um, he went to Worcester Academy in Massachusetts now two years ago. Um, currently, he's starting his first year at MIT, and so he's really set the standard. He went to the school, he just he showed everyone what he could do and what students from this school in this country could do, and that's really made it so other, other boarding schools, other universities are willing to take a risk. Um, because coming into it, they have no idea what to expect from a student from Somaliland. At Abraso, students feel they're part of a family. I think when they get their education from here, they can help other, 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 other people, like other Somalilanders, and they can, like, they can teach the, the education they get from here, and they can develop all, all, the whole country. They always want help, they always want something more, and that's something that, that these days you don't see as much um, in the United States. You have kids that are there because they want to graduate. They want to be done. And I've talked to our students before, and wanting to graduate and be done with school is the last thing that they're concerned about. They're looking for, what can I do in university? What can I do after that? They, they all want to come back and to help the country. After a violent struggle to break away from Somalia, Somaliland faces an uncertain future. The Abbaso School offers hope to some of its young people.